Hey besties, thanks so much for tuning in. So for today, I have more craft stick DIYs, so be sure to tune in to part one, and don't forget to subscribe. So for the first one, I'm starting with two picture frames, obviously from Dollar Tree. You're gonna take this apart, but please do not get rid of the backing. You can get rid of the glass if you want. I like to save them. I'm using jumbo popsicle sticks for this, but you can use the large Dollar Tree ones and just place them horizontally rather than vertically. So here's why you wanna keep the backside. You're gonna use that to measure out your popsicle sticks. This is the same method I used back in 2018 when I made that shutter window mirror thing. I'm gonna use regular scissors to cut this down. That's the beauty of craft sticks. And I will leave all original links to these videos below. This is filmed in 2018. I'm gonna line this up. Now I'm gonna show you if you just wanna use the Dollar Tree ones, you can always cut them down and kind of glue them together. Now, before I attach this, I am gonna go ahead and stain it. You don't have to stain, you can paint it, you can leave it as is, but it's a lot easier to stain when they're not on the frame just yet. After they dry, I'm gonna attach them using E6000, but honestly, I could have done this with regular hot glue. So use whatever you feel comfortable with. If you are gonna use E6000, make sure that you are putting weight on this and letting it dry really well. But if not, regular hot glue is instant and holds pretty well in this case. There are certain times that hot glue is just not a good thing to use. Since this is a five by seven frame, that is why I use this popsicle size, but if you use something smaller, you can of course use the smaller ones or the paint sticks for the larger ones. I got this hook at Walmart, but Dollar Tree has a ton of options, especially now and I'm adding this with E6000. I let it dry really well, and then I took a Dollar Tree lantern. They have these year round, and I spray painted it and then scuffed it up so it doesn't look so shiny. In the end, I think it looks really, really cute. Maybe next time I will try it with solar lanterns and maybe have this outside. This next video is actually a Michael's dupe. I love these crates so much. And I really didn't want to pay $48 for them. They still sell these at Michael's and they're still pricey. So what I did was I grabbed these little gather signs. They have them every season and they're hollow on the inside. They're very easy to take apart. So I just removed all of those extra pieces and we're going to make this nice and flat. There's so many other things that you can use now. Dollar Tree now has wood planks and they even have longer ones. So if I were to do this all over again, maybe I would do it with that, but I really liked how this turned out and you'll see why. So I'm going to measure this and then I'm gonna grab some Dollar Tree popsicle sticks and line them up. I'm going to measure them out the same way that I did the frame. It just makes it so much neater. And then I'm gonna cut them down. You can use scissors or you can use a mini saw. I've been using this for years and love it. The easiest way to do it is to put your popsicle sticks together and tape them. That way you can do a ton at once and it's one measurement. This is linked in the description. I always get comments on it. The link is in the description. They also sell this at Harbor Freights. So if you have one close, you can stop by or you can order one on Amazon. Again, link is in the description. So I'm gonna take these apart and I'm gonna start hot gluing this into place. I really like the effects that the popsicle sticks give here. So even if I were to do this again with a wood piece from Dollar Tree, I really like how this turned out. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna paint the outside. The crate that I showed at the beginning was black. So I'm gonna paint it. If you want, you can peel off the paper that's on top of that, but I wouldn't advise that. You can also use these stickers from Dollar Tree to write out whatever you want and then paint on top, use it as a stencil, I used my Cricut for this, but Dollar Tree has tons of these letters that you can use and mix and match. I'm going to show on the screen exactly what I used, but I did do very light coats of the black, let it dry completely, and then go over it again. Okay, so these are the fonts that I've used. I got these from thefont.com. They're not Cricut fonts, so you are welcome to put this design together on regular paper, Mod Podge it, transfer it. If you don't have a Cricut, I have a video where I show you how to do this with a chalk or just whatever you have. 
and it takes a little bit of work, but you do get a nice transfer from this. Just make sure that you're wearing glasses because sometimes it's a little faint. If you are using a Cricut, make sure that you are stamping up and down. When I did this video, I was not stamping up and down. I did go off to the side a bit and you'll see so much bleeding. Also because I used chalk paint and it was just really, really, really thick. Now I just showed two paint options. I went with the chalk paint because I wanted it to look really chippy originally. I did end up regretting that because like I said, it caused a lot of bleeding. In the end, I was able to fix this with no issue. I just went over it with the black, but this would have been a pain had the colors been reversed and the background was white and my colors were black. So as I'm removing stuff here, Luckily, I was able to save the day and fix this, but the more worn this looks, the more authentic, at least in my opinion. For the bottom, I'm using one of these puzzles from Dollar Tree. They're real wood. I'm flipping it over and taking the puzzle pieces off. And with some hot glue, I'm attaching those two pieces to the front and to the back. So the larger part of the wood puzzle. For the sides, I'm using some jumbo popsicle sticks and I am measuring them the same way that I've been doing, just using a regular pen and I'm cutting them down with regular scissors. To attach them, I'm starting with the bottom, then the top, then the middle for some perfect spacing. I think this ends up looking really good and who would have thought that popsicle sticks could make something so darn cute? In the seasonal section of Dollar Tree, they have this beautiful looking surfboard thing. So what are we going to do? We are going to take the surfboard. You can paint it. You can cover it in contact paper. I covered it at the time of filming and I'll put the original date somewhere like I have with all of them. I used duct tape, but it ended up looking like bacon. So eh, on that one. With Dollar Tree craft sticks for this, you don't have to have a perfect measurement. You can cut this down however you want. I did use my saw for this because I wanted everything to be the exact same size. So, you don't have to use a saw. You can definitely keep using scissors. Again, these are linked in the description. I always get questions. Or you can get it at Harbor Freights if you have one near. Just like in the previous craft, you're gonna want to tape these popsicle sticks together just so it's a lot easier on you and you can get a lot more done all at once. I will post the original video in the description if you want something a little slower, as well as the other nautical video that you're going to see up on the screen now where I used these Dollar Tree toys as well. So fun fact, this is one of my favorite crafts and I was even mentioned on the Hallmark channel because of this. <laughs> they pronounced my name wrong, but I was still proud. Exactly. And, and I do have to admit that all, that was all my inspiration, but I also saw this amazing YouTuber. Her name is Jay Monet, and she did this and it's so adorable. I that's me. Okay, back to the craft. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the Dollar Tree super glue. You can use E6000, whatever you want. And I am doing this with a mix of hot glue as well for the instant hold and for the long-term hold. I'm using Dollar Tree Jenga pieces, Tumbling Tower games, and I am going to put them at the bottom just so that there's extra support so that whatever I'm putting on this holds up. Now I'm going to do this for the top and for the bottom. If I were to do this again, I would skip the duct tape. I feel like it takes away from the stability of it. Now here's the fun part. I'm gonna take my popsicle sticks and I'm gonna to start to line them up. I'm lining them up against the table and I'm hot gluing them in place. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. If you want this to look a little bit more rustic, you can space them out a little bit. You can have some broken ones, totally up to you. But what really ties this together is adding something along the border so that it doesn't look so choppy. Back in the day, Dollar Tree had 13 feet of nautical rope. Then they reduced it to 9.5 and I think now it's eight feet. So if you can find 13 feet, go crazy. If not, you can buy this at Walmart. This is what it looks like and I love it. You can use it in two styles, upright or as a centerpiece. So 
But that's it for me. I really, really hope that you enjoyed these crafts. As usual, let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you on the next one.